So what happens to the Petronas Sprinta F900 after doing close to 6000 plus kilometers of riding in peak summer? Well, a couple of months back, I did a lap test video on the fresh Petronas Sprinta F900 10W40. And now after doing close to 6000 plus kilometers, the used oil was lap tested. I will share the analysis along with the practical experience of this engine oil's performance. To begin with, we will discuss with the viscosity where the oil was used in the RTR 204 v and this motorcycle was pushed hard through the summers in city and highway for close to 6000 plus kilometers. Where the kinematic viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius dropped from 89.05 mm2 per second to 54.27 mm2 per second. While the kinematic viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius dropped from 14.55 mm2 per second to 9.422 mm2 per second. To be honest, I was expecting it to drop further for the torture the oil was put into. To elaborate, testing an oil in cool winter and monsoon is totally different to testing it in an air-cooled engine revving up in the summer heat wave. Flashpoint plays an important role in such situations where it indirectly represents the oil's performance and kind of break down the polymers and additives face. In this case, the F900 has holed up pretty well from 232 degrees Celsius for the fresh oil to about 190 degrees Celsius after 6000 plus kilometers, which can be sometimes the flashpoint for an anti-grade and semi-synthetic fresh engine oil. Next, we move towards total base number. It is essentially an indicator of oil's ability and it's reserved to neutralize the acidic environment inside the engine. With the fresh oil, we start off with 6.5 and after 6000 plus kilometers, we are at 5.8 which is just amazing and speaks volume about the oil's performance to last long and fight longer. Moving towards the wear and tear analysis, we will start this with the building blocks of the engine like iron which came out at 39 parts per million which is way under the limit. And so is aluminium at 48 parts per million. Chromium showed almost no presence which is just excellent as chromium forms the major component of critical stuff like bearings and surface coatings that face moving and contact parts. Next is copper at 22 parts per million which is again good and way under the limit as it also indicates negligible wear on the engine and specially on the transmission side with the clutch. Moving towards the contaminants, minimum and under the limit presence of silicon, sodium and potassium was found after 6000 plus kilometers, which is a sign of a good oil and a clean engine. All of this accounts for a really good 6000 plus kilometers report for the Petronas Sprint IF900. And this brings me to the practical experience, where if you are a rider who loves to push the machine, then the Sprint IF900 won't disappoint you. The experience with the F900 is different from the likes of the Shell Advance Ultra or the Motul 7100 and more like the Motul 300V that encourages the RPMs and fast shifts. All of this fast running and pushing the engine didn't help much with the fuel efficiency, but I must share that no top up was required during this 6000 km of running, which is remarkable for the F900. I guess videos like this will keep receiving the love and support from all of you. So that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it.